here in our area and our chief meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Uh, kind of a sleepy day after that rainy Mother's Day, but I'm sure things will change soon enough. Yeah, you know what? We may not have much rain in the forecast this week around here for a change. When was the last time you've seen me show this around here? It's been a while, right? But we are tracking temperatures. So while there may not be a lot of action happening up in the skies above us, we are watching the temperatures this week because they are not at all going to feel like mid-May. Temperatures are going to run well below normal. I guess on the upside, at least you'll be able to enjoy Enjoy plenty of time outdoors. Let's talk temps and you can see here only in the 60s much of the week here. In fact, we may even be stuck in the upper 50s tomorrow. We may not make it back into the 70s until the weekend. And just in case you're wondering this time of the year now, our average high getting closer to about 75 degrees. So when we talk about, yes, it's nice and we're hovering around 60, that's pretty chilly for May, especially with all the sunshine that we've seen today. So get ready for another chilly night as well. In fact, temperatures tonight going to slip quickly through the 50s into the 40s, maybe not quite as cold as last night because we'll have a few more clouds around, but still a night in which you'll need the jackets and sweaters. So outside right now, 60 degrees officially at the airport. We've got a little bit of a north wind at the moment. Temperatures are within a couple of degrees of 60 for most of us. You can see some towns, though, never made it out of the 50s. You can see Brookville at 57, 59 in Batesville and Versailles. Brooksville coming in at 59. You're in the low 60s in Mason and Loveland as, at the moment. So here's a look at the satellite. There is a little bit of a weak cool front tonight up in the lower Great Lakes. There's some rain up there, but that's where it will stay. This front will sneak its way through tomorrow and probably make tomorrow night the coldest night of the week. So as I walk you through future cash, you'll see clouds will kind of come and go through the night tonight. Basically the same for tomorrow as well. Clouds will kind of come and go throughout the day, but overall it's going to be a nice looking Tuesday. It will be cooler than today because there will be a little bit of a breeze too. So I think tomorrow will certainly feel with a little less sun, a little bit cooler tomorrow. And then as skies clear up overnight, Wednesday night looks, excuse me, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We could have some patchy frost. We'll see. We may have a frost advisory uh, posted for the area. So the theme here this week is relatively quiet weather with decent amounts of sunshine, but temperatures that just don't resemble mid May really for us. So a few clouds tonight, 41 that's here in the city. I wouldn't rule out someone sneaking into the upper 30s again. Then tomorrow, some clouds, some sun, breezy and cool. 59 for your afternoon high. Here's a look at your day planner starting out the day in the 40s and then we'll climb to just shy of 60 by the time we make it to the afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So we'll do a steady rise through the week, Mike and Sheree, but it takes us all week to get to where we should be. And of course, by the time we get to where we should be temperature wise, that is 70 to 75. The threat for rain returns just in time for the upcoming weekend. All right, Reds canceled over the weekend because of the rain. Yeah. They're trying to hop back in there and